as we've seen here over the last uh, couple of years, a lot of publications have been uh, short of, short of, <laughs> sort of shutting the doors as far as their uh, printing editions go as we see this world change. And I love talking about this too, because I feel like I have slightly a little bit of a different viewpoint than everybody else, uh, which is not that I'm excited about, you know, these things changing, but I welcome it. I, I don't uh, see it as much of a doom and gloom as other people do. Um, yes, I love the days when I could pick up a magazine and sit and read it and leaf through the pages and look at the photographs and, um, you know, read articles and learn things. And I did love that time, but, um, you know, times change and, uh, I embrace the change. I embrace progress. That's why I'm on progressive radio. You know, that's why we do what we do here. You know, it's a, uh, it's a respect of the past. Uh, but at the same time, we're looking forward to the future. And, uh, after 66 years, NME is uh, deciding to uh, close up shop as far as their print publication goes. Now, they're still going to be online at NME.com. Uh, it's just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal publication. A lot of the news that we talk about on the Morning Show with Anthony comes from the New Music Express. And um, obviously, we don't uh, partake in the paper edition, but we do uh, partake in the digital edition. And that's what they're going to uh, change their focus to. They're going to be digital only, as we're seeing with a lot of the publications. I think it was a Teen Vogue, uh, and there was another big one that just announced the same thing. Um, it's weird, but you you know you go all around and you see most people are just on their phones. They're they're consuming content on their phones. Um, I love the I I do love the old and you lick the finger and you flick the page. Uh, but, uh, no longer, it's more hygienic now. We don't have to lick our finger before we scroll, which is a good thing. Actually, that's a good thing. Um, but it is, it, it's sad. And I recognize, you know, the history and how wonderful it is to actually hold a physical paper. Um, but at the same time to be able to grab every bit of information ever, anywhere at any time is, uh, is a nice luxury worth having. And that's why we're seeing a lot of these publications shut down. Uh, the paper started, like I said, 66 years ago, and uh, it was a uh, pretty strong uh, subscription-based service. Its circulation dropped down to 15,000 just a few years ago. NME rebranded itself and launched as an ad-funded free circulation. They shot their numbers back up to 300,000 uh, and then slowly started to see even that number decline. And uh, Time, who is their, uh, I guess, their owner or po or consultant or whatever, um, was the one who finally said, look, it was a good run, but go to uh, digital only. Uh, and that's going to be the way for everybody. It's all going to be digital. You know, that's just the way we're going. It's Things are just going to be digital. I mean, look how you, con you consume a lot of what you consume right now. Um, there was this lovely tribute, though, that came from Sir Elton John, which I, I uh, just loved, loved eternally. And um, it was uh, his tweet, and he tweeted out a picture of himself on the uh, cover of the magazine. But uh, more than that, it was just him talking about the fact that uh, and recognizing, you know, NME's role in his career and what it meant for him. As fate would have it, uh, he answered an advertisement in the back of NME, uh, the new musical express, and uh, a young gentleman by the name of Bernie Toppin answered the same ad. And they went down uh, to London uh, to uh, audition. It was, an, it was an advertisement calling for auditions for songwriters. They both went down. They both failed said audition. But uh, as you know, their story turned out just okay with over 30-some-odd mega hits um, and everything like that. But um, it was uh, a nice little tribute for uh, Sir Elton John to pay to NME and recognize uh, what role they played in the, the shaping of his career as if he never uh, would have answered that ad in the paper. Um, he never would have met Bernie. Uh, and he never would have gotten together and started writing uh, with Bernie. So uh, it's a nice story to have. And it's sad. I mean, I get it. It's, it is sad. But um, I'm excited about the future of technology 
because uh, you know you used to look at a mag. Remember the only time you could see a band was like in a magazine sometimes. Like that was it. Like if they didn't put themselves in the album cover, or or in the in the liner notes, you know, sometimes the only place you could see them is in these things, and it was like one picture. But now, I mean, you know, you go to read some of these articles, and they have like ten pictures. It's kind of cool, you know. I remain hopeful for the future, and I'm not afraid of the uh, digital era that we're going into. I think it's going to be exciting. Uh, are we going to be, are, is the next Bernie Taupin and Elton John going to be answering, uh, you know, advertisements in the back of a magazine? No. Uh, they'll be doing it on Facebook and Twitter uh, and uh, Craigslist. You know, the next Bernie Taupin and Elton John will meet each other through social media. And uh, I think that that's fine. I think the same uh, twists of fate will happen. It'll just happen digitally instead of... Uh, you know, analogally. <laughs> Is that a word? Uh, how do you consume your uh, music content is the question that I'd like to know. Because we're all sad, right? We're all sad about NME not printing. Does Rolling Stone even print anymore? I don't know. I think they do. I don't think Spin does. I really don't even know. Everybody will be sad about this, but... Ask the people that are said about this when the last time it was they went out and bought one of these magazines. <laughs> I mean, you won't be able to find anybody. That's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. So how do you consume your music news content is what I'd like to know today. Uh, you can comment and uh, let me know. Of course, the number is 7263EHM or on social or wherever. Um, how do you consume your content? Are you? Do you still pick up? Rolling Stone, do you still grab a NME wherever you can get it? Are, are you still, do you still pick up the newspaper every day? I'd love to know. I would love to know. Because we're putting together a list and we're going to find you last bit of people who are doing it. And we're going to get rid of you. I'm kidding. That's not, you're fine. It's fine. You're not being put on a list.